Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to learn algebra. Today is our day number 23. Day number 23. Let's see what we have for today. Here is the problem. We have to find the sum of some algebraic terms, adding and subtracting like terms. That's what we're doing right now. So here we go. We have 3xyz and we have 2xyz then we have negative 7xyz and finally we have 13xyz. The question is what is their sum? Well since, what do you notice? Since we notice that since here we have xyz and here we have xyz and here we have xyz and here we have xyz they are all like terms they are all similar terms they are all similar terms like when we talk about adding and subtracting like terms like as in similar the antonym of like in this context is unlike not dislike we are not using the word like in that sense unlike as in dissimilar I hope dissimilar has two s's it sounds like it has two s's but they are all similar let's move this equal sign out here so it looks better they are not unlike terms now on the other hand if we had 3xy plus 2xy minus 7xy plus 13xy sorry I meant to say xyz if we had 3xyz plus 2xyz and minus 7xyz and 13xy and no z in it then this is no longer a like term this is the dislike term these these three are the same not dislike I mean unlike terms this is this term which is unlike these three in which case we would add these three the coefficients and this will stay by itself but since it does have a z, all we have to do is add up all the coefficients. Since all the terms are like, since all the terms are like terms, all we have to do is to just add coefficients. So we have positive 3, a positive 2, a negative 7, and a positive 13. Let's see what we can do here. Positive 5, positive 5 and a negative 7 which gives us negative 2. So we have 13 minus a 2 is 11. The answer is 11. So if you were to add up all these terms, if you were to add up all these terms, which is what we're supposed to do, so we can add them now. Three plus two, three plus two is five. Five minus seven, this, this needs a parenthesis around it. Five minus a seven. Three plus two is five. Five minus seven is a negative two. Negative two plus thirteen. Negative. So this this is five. Five minus seven plus thirteen, and then five minus seven is negative two plus thirteen. And finally, these two will give us positive eleven. So the answer is eleven x y z. Eleven x y z. When we add them up, let's do one more, shall we? Let's do one more. So the answer here is 11 times x times y times z. Let's do one more. Five PQ negative 7 pq 
6 p cube and 4 p cube. Again, we notice that they are all like terms. They all involve same variable with the same coefficient. Same variable and same coefficient. Therefore, all we have to do is add up the exponents. We just have to add up the exponents. 5 minus 7 will give us negative 2. And then plus 6 will give us positive 4. And a plus 4 will give us positive 8. That's all. So the answer here is 8p cubed. 8p cubed. If we were to add them up, if we were to add them up, equals 8p cubed. Because they are all like terms. Let's do one more. What would have happened? What would have been, what would have happened if we had something like this? 5 5p cubed plus 5p cubed minus 7p squared plus 6p cubed plus 4p squared. Now they are not all like terms. They are not all like terms. 5p cubed and 6p cubed, they are like terms. But p squared and the p squared are going to be have to be added up separately by themselves. So in this case we have to add up these two together and we have to add up these together. The p, p cubed and the p cubed go together and we have 6 plus 5 which is 11 p cubed and then finally we have 7 plus 4 oh that's oh but this is a negative 7. Negative 7 and a positive 4 will give us negative 3 negative 3 p squared negative 3 p squared let's do one more what if we had something like this 5 p cubed minus 7 p squared plus 6 p cubed plus 4p. Now we have three different kinds of terms. There are three different varieties of terms. Even though they all involve the letter p, they are no longer like terms because this one has a power of 3, this one has a power of 3, but this one is only 4. This is a, this is a square and since there is no other square, it will just stay like that. We're not, we cannot add this thing to anything. Similarly, the 7p Similarly, this 4p, there is no other 4p, there, there is no other p by itself, it will just stay like this by itself. And all we have to do now is to add up the two, p, two, two, two of them that involve p cube, these two. So we have 5 of these p cubed and we have 6 of these p cubed, so we have 11 p cubed. 11 p cubed. So the answer in this case would be 11 p cubed minus 7 p squared plus 4 p. I'm just moving this p closer. And that's it. That would be the answer. There we go. Let's do one last one before we call it a day. Let's do one last one. I don't know how far low you can read. I'm going to do one more thing. Hopefully you can read low enough because I don't want to raise anything. What if we had something like this? 5p cubed minus 7p squared plus 6p plus 4. How would we add, th add these terms? These four terms, 5p cubed minus 7p squared plus 6p plus 4, cannot be added because they are all unlike terms. They have not, no, they have the same variable, but they don't have the same exponents. They cannot be added. It just stays like this. You cannot do anything with it. How many? What's the exponent? What's the what's the exponent of the p here? Is there a p here? I see p here. Six times p, seven times p squared, five times p cubed. What about here? Does this have a p with an exponent? The answer is yes. Here, even though we do not see it, let me put it in a different color. Even though we do not see it, there is a p. There is a p with the exponent of zero. 
this one has exponent of 1, this one has exponent of 2, and this one has exponent of 3. P with the exponent of 0, let me make a, let's, let's, let's make a note someplace here, any number, any number raised to 0 equals 1, any number, any number raised to 0, 10 raised to 0 equals 1, so does 13 raised to 0 equals 1, so does negative 4 raised to 0 equals 1, any number raised to 0 is 1, so this is just p raised to 0, it's just 1, so this is like technically what it is, is 4 times 1, which is still 4, you see? Sometimes I get into too much this thing, I, I, I wasn't planning to start into that part here, but anyway. Let's call it a day today, before, before I get carried away even more. I'll see you tomorrow on day number 20, on day number 24, okay? If you wish to get hold of me, you can send me an email at any of these website addresses. You can go to any of these website addresses and send me an email. Or you can go to kishwaniprep.com and send me an email from there or you're going to find a toll-free number from there and call me up if you like. Alright? Thank you.